Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? All right, this is an update on my freaking van. Um, this thing takes a life. It has a life of, of on its own, man. Um. Uh, anyway, well, let me show you guys how I got it set up. Um, I'm always on the road with this thing now. Um, let's, let's do a quick update on what I got going on in here. So you guys can see, you know, this is a PMP van. Is a, I seen a couple of setups from other contractors and whatnot, and they, they came out. They look, you know, they had a good thing going on, but you know, I'm doing it to where I'm comfortable using it. All right, these are my ladders. I got a four footer and a six footer. Um, honestly, I use these very, you know, every now and then. So it's just, it's just better to have these there. Um, my tool bags, tons of fucking tools, dude. Tons of tools. Generator, compressor, extension cord. That's uh, the lock for my um trailer. Um, all right, let's go to the back first. Show you guys how I got this set up. Um, uh, by the way, we had a property. Um, a new client. So anyway, let's do the thing. Um, yo, give me a complete uh, interior photos. Lockbox code is 1975. Anyway, um, I got two gas cans in the back. I got extension cord, my hose. Um, I'm still trying to, you know, get this to where I need it to go. Um, those are all new containers. Those, well, not that new. The top one is new, but I got nothing but plumbing fittings. I kind of want to push all the plumbing stuff to one side, but it's hard to do when you're just back and forth, you know, just busting your ass and just doing crazy shit anyway um um i do rentals i mean repairs and shit and i'm starting a handyman business this year so all this stuff is going to come in real good like um switch covers outlet covers switches outlets um you know just basic stuff to have What's the number? Uh, 1975 and then we have um you know a bunch of shit man you know preservation and then stuff for home improvement um, these things are slowly filling up. I still haven't had a chance to take these out. I'm just gonna probably put like something across right here, you know, or you know, to, to have little cubbies where I can, you know, put, put stuff in instead of taking it out. Um, shit is crazy though, man. Um, I got my all my port cable jump offs. We left all the batteries, but it's all right, we're not gonna need, need them today. Um, I got mad money invested into this vehicle, just, just, you know, into this van. Yeah, I got mad shit in here, man. Mad stuff. Up there, I got tarps. I got, um, tool bags. Stuff to protect the floors. Um, radio, rubber boots, work boots. More tool bags, hard hats, and then copper, man. Copper pipes, you know, because I'm always doing repairs. And one thing, one, two packs. Um, yeah, but this van is taking a life on its own, man. And I like it, though, man. It was a good buy. And um, I'm very happy about it. So, anyway, this is an update on my van. Um, I have no locks in here. I took them all out. Uh, the box, I accidentally left it in the bed of my truck. I, I had a milk crate full of... um knob locks pad locks and i left them in the bed of my truck and um it snowed a little bit it rained a lot and uh all the boxes just crumbled so now i just have to properly label them and put them as like ziploc bags and whatnot yeah man but anyway here you guys take a look of what's going on in here this is cones caution cones this is all pipe shit because you know, i do minor plumbing yeah, man, my painting products, but it's, it's looking good, man. So you guys can look at what we do here. Do a little bit of everything. Um, it's a good setup. Just got to make it a little high and tight, you know, make it look better and shit like that. But yeah, man. Tell me guys, tell, you guys tell me what you think about my van, you know. Huh? 
I was actually, I saw a video of an electrician's van and he had shelving. He built the shelving like right here. It came out just as far as this ladder is. Um, but I can't do that because I got the generator. Well, I, I probably can, you know. It was real nice the way he had it built, you know. So I'm thinking about putting a shelving here or building it out of plywood like a small shelving, you know. Or probably when I do a clean out and there's a small book bookshelf, um, I can probably put it here and just customize it to my needs. So I can have more more um more shelves to put more junk into. Um yeah, but I got mad shit in here, man. Brand new shit. Sozo blades. This is for uh metal. It's real fine shit. I use this to cut um my pipes and shit and once I'm, you know, it's just too cold and you don't want your hands, you want to cut shit real fast, you know, for repairs. I got a mad shit anchor kit, um, first aid kit, it should be closed. I got gloves, rags, mask, um, I got mad shit, dude. Coolant, which I don't need that now. Um, I got this little thing here full of miscellaneous stuff, mainly bits and stuff in my drills, tips and whatnot. Um, and then over here, a bunch of bits and tips, you know, <clears throat> trying to stay organized, you know, trying to stay organized, bunch of tapes, um, this is still empty, you know. I kind of want to put all that over here because I want to just keep this all plumbing because it, it seems like I'm doing more plumbing than anything, more plumbing repairs. So I want to just turn this shelf to strictly plumbing and then um, that's that. But yeah, man. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think about my van, about the setup. What can I do to improve in it on it to make things better, uh, make it look good? Yeah, man. Now I got to get to work. That's the house that I'm working at now. I got to do a uh, thaw out, a winterization, an interior and exterior debris removal. They said it was light shit. There's a new company I'm working with. So, let's see. Peace.